five years out, I want us to be a destination site that's known worldwide for a, a place to, to come in and view the, the rich history of the railroad uh, industry. There are amazing opportunities that, um, that we can, that we can uh, expand upon and have started, but we can take them further. I believe that we can have a community that is, uh, has, has grown um, to the east. We've got amazing development going on in Saddle Ridge. I had so much fun going door to door. My goodness, there are, I've never seen so many kids running around, and, and that's a prime example of really how our, how our neighborhoods should look, and I'm so excited that that's going forward. We have great potential for the West Edge. I am really excited with that development and what's going on. Having grown up in Casper where they took the ram field, the Amoco refinery, I, I grew up right across the street from it. And now it's a beautiful business center with a, a, a great golf course that kicks my butt every time I, I, I try to golf. Um, I believe that we've got great things. The Swan Ranch development is really promising. And I'm really excited to see what's going to be going on with Sweetgrass. I believe that that development, it's, it's going to probably outlive my lifetime, but I believe that there is real potential for excitement. And then, Amy, your idea of shining in five, ten years that you were mayor? Change is so incredibly slow. Um, in, in five years, um, you know, we're, we're, I don't think that we're going to see uh, incredibly different Cheyenne than we see today, but I definitely think that we'll be um, well on our way to working towards something different. Um, I think that we can see that hopefully we're all working together more, that we've identified where we want to go and that we're implementing those strategic plans to get there, that we're a more inclusive, all-inclusive community, that we have more partnership forms, less codes, less regulations, that development is occurring and there are more plans to development and small business is starting to take off here in a bigger and better way. In 10 years, I could foresee us being a more family-oriented arts and culture center of the Front Range where we have initiated some affordable housing and that's in place, um, where people in all parts of our community feel more safe and that we're starting to thrive, and we all feel like we're starting to thrive, and we can say, you know, remember 10 years ago? It wasn't like this. I think that's what we can see, and I hope to see in, in 10 years from now.